The Clinician Scientist Award is, is based around a bench to bedside approach in multiple myeloma, which is the second commonest blood cancer and which has a particularly high incidence in Ireland. And a, a, a fundamental component of that is the delivery of early phase clinical trials in multiple myeloma for patients who relapse uh, from initial treatment or who become unresponsive to therapy there's an urgent need for new therapies and the purpose of this trial was to take a promising new drug um, and combine it with existing treatment for patients with multiple myeloma. So the specifics of this trial was to take a drug called afrocertib it's a drug that's called an AKT inhibitor initially developed by GlaxoSmithKline and now in fact owned by Novartis and to combine this with the standard treatment for myeloma, which is a drug called bortezomib, or, or Velcade is its, its trade name, in combination with steroids. And the idea was to, uh, to combine increasing doses of this experimental drug, afroesertib, with the Velcade and the dexamethasone to ultimately arrive at a point where we had achieved a ma the maximum dose that was safe to give to patients and also to evaluate the potential efficacy of this combination. The trial has gone very well and uh, approximately I would say about 70 patients maybe worldwide were enrolled in this trial but Galway did particularly well in that we enrolled nine patients and were the fourth highest recruiter internationally on this study. Most of the centres were in North America, there was one centre in Australia and we were the only European centre. And importantly, based on the promising uh, results achieved in this study, a follow-on study is, in the, is, is planned um, using a new, more potent version of Alcade, a second generation drug called carfilzomib, and this will be combined with afroesertib and steroids and should be available to Irish patients sometime later this year. Regardless of, of what treatment patients actually get on a clinical trial, it's a well-recognised fact that patients always do better simply by being involved in a clinical trial. That just the level of care, the observation and everything is, is a benefit to patients. But it also provides hope in that potentially getting access to a new drug may provide uh, improved outcome for patients and even if patients ultimately don't benefit from the new drug it does provide them when they go on the study with some with some chance that they otherwise wouldn't have. This is a, a game changer to have a facility like this available to us. Uh, we've you know been sort of homeless in terms of doing sort of dedicated clinical trials for some time. We've had to you know take advantage or, or use the regular clinical facilities and the, the prospect of combining all our clinical research activities in, in one hub, uh, I think, is uh, of immense benefit to everybody. It will make our lives as researchers much easier. It will provide patients with a, you know, a dedicated home for their you know, you know, research experience. And I think overall it's going to be of immense benefit to everybody.